Every morning you wake up feeling more drained, more sore, like your body's slowly slipping away from you. But the problem isn't old age. It's the lack of one tiny molecule that your body's crying out for every second. That molecule costs less than any drug out there, but it's surprisingly powerful. Its name is glycine, and it's the key to helping you sleep deeper, bounce back faster, while protecting every cell from silent damage happening inside. Before you think about buying any supplements, I want you to watch this whole video. What I'm about to share could completely change how you look at sleep, energy, and long-term health. Today, I'm going to dive deep into five critical issues. First, how glycine actually works in your body, and why it's the foundation for the most powerful defense system you've got. Next, the diseases you worry about most like diabetes, fatty liver, or high blood pressure. How do they tie to glycine? Third, the secret behind deep sleep that most doctors don't bring up. Fourth, when you truly need to pair glycine with a compound called NAC, because the latest research data shows this combo is way more powerful than folks used to think. And finally, exact dosing plus safety notes you need to know. So, let's kick off by digging into what glycine really does inside your body. Glycine is the smallest amino acid out of all the amino acids your body uses. Sounds simple, but don't let its tiny size fool you. Glycine takes part in almost every survival process. It helps build protein chains, the bricks that make up your muscles, skin, and connective tissue. It creates collagen, the stuff that keeps your skin smooth and your joints moving freely. It also backs up your liver, your body's most critical detox organ. But glycine's most important role is becoming one of three essential ingredients to create glutathione. What's glutathione? Think of it like a fire brigade standing by around the clock inside your body. Every time you breathe, every heartbeat, your body generates energy to live. But that process also creates little sparks at the same time, destructive molecules capable of wrecking DNA and tearing up your cell membranes. Glutathione is the fire crew putting out those sparks before they spread into a big blaze. It protects your heart, brain, liver, and every tiny cell in your body. It also helps recycle vitamin C and vitamin E, keeping other antioxidants running. Glutathione also shields your mitochondria, those tiny power plants inside each cell, from damage. When your body's got enough glutathione, cells can survive and work efficiently even under harsh conditions. But when you run low on glutathione, your cells age faster. That's when you start feeling lingering fatigue, unexplained aches, and the sense that your strength's slowly draining away. The critical thing you need to remember is glutathione is made from three amino acids, glutamate, cysteine, and glycine. Your body usually has enough glutamate. The problem lies in the other two. Glycine and cysteine are usually the two weakest links in this chain. If you're short on either one, your body's most powerful defense system collapses. So now you understand what glycine is and why it matters. But how does it affect the diseases you worry about most? Let's find out. If you're worried about weight, blood sugar, cholesterol, or blood pressure, then this part's crucial for you. A comprehensive study published in 2022 showed glycine can improve many factors of metabolic syndrome. That's the medical term describing when your body hits multiple problems at once. Insulin resistance, obesity, high cholesterol, and elevated blood pressure. What does this mean for your life? It means glycine can help your body handle sugar better, cut down fat piling up in your liver, and ease pressure on your cardiovascular system. This isn't just dry numbers on paper. This is the ability to dodge having to take diabetes meds, keep your liver healthier, and let your heart keep beating strong for years to come. Scientists discovered something interesting. People with metabolic syndrome, obesity, or diabetes often have lower blood glycine levels compared to healthy folks. Their bodies are burning through glycine at high speed without being able to produce enough to make up for it. This leads to a major shift in how we view glycine. Previously, scientists thought glycine was a non-essential amino acid because your body can make it on its own. 
but now we know that's not entirely accurate. When you have diabetes, fatty liver, or chronic inflammation, your body truly needs glycine from outside sources. In those situations, glycine becomes a conditionally essential nutrient. Picture this scene. You wake up in the morning with steady energy, lasting all day. You no longer get that awful hunger crash midday. You don't have to stress every time you check blood sugar. That's exactly what having enough glycine in your body can deliver. But there's one area where glycine truly shines. If you're struggling with poor sleep, this next part might completely transform your life. Before we keep going, I've got a question for you. Do you struggle with sleep? If so, type number one down below. Your answer helps me understand our community better and create content that fits your real needs more closely. This is where the scientific evidence on glycine becomes strongest. If you've ever tossed and turned all night or woke up still feeling beat like you never slept, then pay close attention. Studies run on real people show glycine improves sleep in multiple ways. You'll sleep better, not just by subjective feeling, but in actual physical terms. You'll be more alert and sharp the next day. And most importantly, you'll fall asleep faster. No more lying there counting every minute tick by from 11 at night until 1 in the morning. When you take about 3 grams of glycine within 30 minutes before bed, your body kicks off an amazing natural process. Let me explain what's going down inside you. Glycine sends a signal to the biological clock buried deep in your brain, the part that controls your sleep-wake cycle. This signal tells blood vessels in your hands and feet to gently dilate. When blood vessels expand, heat from your body's core starts radiating outward. Your core temperature drops a bit. This is the magic moment. As your body cools, your brain gets a clear message that it's time to rest. Think of it like how you always sleep better in a cool room compared to a stuffy hot one. Glycine creates that cool room from right inside your body. Throughout the day, there are nerve cells in your brain constantly keeping you awake. They're like alarm bells ringing nonstop, reminding you to stay alert, stay focused. Glycine is like a soft, warm blanket draping over those cells, quieting the noise, helping them settle down so you can relax. Glycine also helps balance neurotransmitters in your brain, those tiny chemical messengers controlling your mood and sleep. When they're balanced, you feel calmer, more ready to sink into sleep. There's one more special thing. Glycine helps all the muscles in your body fully relax throughout REM sleep. This is the stage where you dream, and also when your body repairs itself. If muscles don't relax properly, you might jerk awake, move involuntarily, or wake suddenly. Glycine ensures your body lies still, letting the recovery process unfold completely. When you sleep deeply and fully, everything in life shifts. You wake with a clear head. You've got enough energy to do things you love. You're more patient with people around you. And most importantly, your body has time to heal and rejuvenate every cell. All these benefits combine to create the kind of restful, deep sleep, the kind of sleep you might not have experienced in years. But here's what very few people know about, and it could be the most important info in this whole video. Sometimes, glycine alone still isn't enough. And that's when you need to know about NAC. If you're still following along and feeling like this info is truly valuable, type good down below. This tells me this content matters to you. Every comment you leave motivates us to keep researching and sharing more helpful knowledge. Some folks say just taking glycine is enough, but other experts advise never take glycine alone. You must pair it with NAC. So what's the truth? Remember what we just learned. Glutathione, the fire brigade inside your body, needs three ingredients, glutamate, cysteine, and glycine. Your body usually has enough glutamate. The problem lies in cysteine and glycine. Cysteine is like whipped cream. It's critical for the recipe, but also extremely perishable. It's unstable, easily oxidized, and often running low, especially when you're under pressure, dealing with inflammation in your body, or fighting illness. This means when you need glutathione most. That's also when cysteine depletes fastest. Imagine you're building a house. 
Glycine is the bricks. Cysteine is the cement. If you've got a mountain of bricks but no cement, you can't build anything. You need both to finish the job. NAC, short for N-acetylcysteine, is the stable form of cysteine. It's like whipped cream sealed tight in a container, storable for the long haul and usable whenever you need it. When you take NAC, it supplies the cysteine your body's missing. And once you've got enough cysteine, glycine can finally play its role to complete the process of making glutathione. Without cysteine, your body can't kick off glutathione production. Without glycine, your body can't finish it. You need both to build a powerful defense system. The interesting thing is, this combo has been studied on real people, not just in labs. There was a study lasting 16 weeks on older adults. Participants taking Glynac combo saw stunning changes. Their muscles got stronger. They walked faster. They thought more clearly and sharply. At the cellular level, researchers spotted mitochondria, those tiny power plants inside each cell, working better. Oxidative damage also dropped significantly. What does this mean in your daily life? It means climbing stairs without getting winded. It means picking up your grandkid without back pain. It means going shopping without needing to sit and rest every few steps. This isn't just dry numbers from scientific studies. This is freedom and independence in your everyday life. Another small study also showed Glynac can improve insulin resistance in folks with type 2 diabetes. That means their bodies handled sugar better. I gotta be honest with you, these studies are still small scale with short follow-up times. We need a lot more data, but the early results are truly promising. So how do you know if you should take glycine alone or pair it with NACE? Let me break it down for you in detail. The answer depends on your current health status. If you're relatively healthy, no major metabolic issues, and just want to improve sleep quality, then glycine alone might already be enough for you. Your glutathione system's very likely working fine. But the story's different if you're facing certain health problems. Let me spell it out. Glynac might be the better pick if your body's battling insulin resistance. This includes not just diagnosed diabetes, but also pre-diabetes or polycystic ovary syndrome that many women deal with. Glynac is also especially important if you have fatty liver, a condition that's increasingly common nowadays. Folks with high blood pressure or high cholesterol should also consider this combo. The same applies to anyone living with prolonged chronic inflammation or treating autoimmune diseases. Why do these conditions need Glynac? Because in each case, your body's using glutathione at breakneck speed to fight constant inflammation and damage. At that point, you don't just need glycine, you also need the cysteine from NAC to keep up with that high demand. Your body's like a race car, burning fuel many times faster than normal. If you're not sure which group you're in, check in with your doctor. They can order blood tests for glutathione levels and advise the best approach based on your specific situation. Now for the question most people care about most. How much should you take? And is it truly safe? Let's start with pure glycine. The most studied dose is 3 grams, taken about 30 to 60 minutes before you hit the sack. Glycine dissolves easily in water. It's got a slightly sweet taste. Most folks tolerate it really well, with very few side effects, sometimes just mild drowsiness. Some people use very high doses, from 40, 50, even 90 grams daily. There are studies showing doses that high are still fairly safe short term but I don't recommend you try doses that high. Those studies are small scale, short follow-up, and there are some reports of behavioral changes or sensory overload. In animals, high doses also raised concerns about cardiovascular and nervous system toxicity. Start with three grams. That's the safe dose, proven effective, and enough for most people. If you decide to use the Glynac combo, here's what you need to know. Studies used doses of 100 milligrams per kilogram of body weight for both glycine and NAC. If you weigh 70 kilograms, about 154 pounds, that dose would equal roughly 7 grams of glycine and 7 grams of NAC daily, split into two doses. But most folks don't start with doses that high right away. They start with about 3 grams of each per day, then slowly ramp up if they feel it's needed and if their body tolerates it well. 
NAC can trigger some digestive side effects, like nausea or diarrhea in some people. If you've got a history of asthma or allergies, tread carefully, and remember to consult your doctor first. Overall, both glycine and NAC are well tolerated at recommended doses. But, like with any supplement, each person reacts differently. Like with any health-related change, listening to your body and taking it slow is the mark of someone who knows how to care for themselves smartly. If you're on any medications, especially blood thinners, diabetes drugs, or blood pressure meds, check in with your family doctor or geriatric specialist. They can assess your individual situation and make sure there are no unwanted interactions between meds and supplements. Like we've explored together, feeling drained, aging fast, and poor sleep quality might not just be due to old age. Glycine, one tiny amino acid, plays a foundational role in protecting cells, improving deep sleep, and supporting metabolic processes. When paired with NAC, in cases where it's needed, it can bring real change to your health and long-term quality of life. Now it's your turn. After watching this video, do you think you'll try glycine? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I really want to hear about your health journey. I believe taking care of your health isn't about hunting for some magic pill. It's about understanding what your body needs and delivering it at the right time. Sometimes, the simplest solutions are the most powerful ones. Glycine is proof of that. If this info can help people you care about, maybe parents, siblings, or friends struggling with sleep or health, please share this video with them. Hit the like button to help others find this important information. And subscribe to the channel with notification bell turned on so you don't miss our health knowledge. In upcoming videos, we'll keep sharing other natural methods to support health and quality of life for older adults. Stay healthy, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is our channel, where we explore together how to live healthier and stay youthful longer.